Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your account details. This includes changing the first and last name that appears on your website, the title that appears on your website, as well as your account information such as the email address attached to your account, the username and password for your dashboard, and the photo that appears on your website. So, to do this, we're going to access the dashboard by scrolling down to the very bottom of the page and then clicking on User Login. Here we're just going to implement our name or email and password. And then from the dashboard, we're going to click on Your Name and then Profile Manager. And in this section, you can change the first name and last name that appears on your website, as well as the title that follows just below your name. You can also update your agent picture by removing the current one that you have and then browsing for a new photo from your desktop. Once you've made the changes, you can scroll down to the very bottom and click Save. Now, changing the agent picture that appears on your website is twofold. The first step has already been completed by going to your profile manager. The next step is to go to appearance and then advanced theming. And in this page, we're going to update the front page banner picture. So we're going to delete the current photo and then scroll down to the very bottom of the page and press save. You should see a notification at the top that says the banner profile picture has been successfully deleted. So now that that's gone, we're going to go back to the front page banner picture section and we're going to browse for a new photo to replace the former one with. Once you've chosen the photo, you can scroll down and then click save. Now that we've updated our website photo, we're going to manage our account details by clicking on our name and then clicking on Account Manager. And in this page, you'll see the username that's currently attached to your account, the email address where all leads are going to be sent to when users fill out forms on your website, and then you have the opportunity to add a new password in replacement of your old password. So we're going to go ahead and make some changes. And then we're going to implement our current password. And then we're going to press save. And just like that, you would have changed your username, the email address associated with your account, as well as your password. 